Excellencies, I appreciate this opportunity to contribute to the discussions at this high-level meeting. I was fortunate to have participated in the Beijing Conference and to have helped to organize the NGO Forum at Huairau. Together and separately, these two conferences were the largest ever sponsored by the United Nations at that time. They raised the consciousness of governments, international organizations, and civil society alike about the importance of a gender perspective. And we can celebrate many achievements putting that into practice over the last 25 years. But as an international gender champion and the mother of three daughters, I am also deeply aware that much is left to be done. As Director General of IDLO, the only global intergovernmental organization exclusively dedicated to advancing the rule of law to promote peace and sustainable development, I know how critical justice and the rule of law are to realizing the commitments we made in Beijing. Whether on paper or in practice, many women still do not have the same rights as men and the justice gap has been exacerbated by the current pandemic. At IDLO, gender equality is at the core of our mandate. We work to promote and protect women's human rights, remove barriers to the participation of women justice professionals, eliminate laws that discriminate against women and girls, and help advance a culture of the rule of law. Through our programs and research, we have identified five gender equality accelerators. First, we must address discriminatory laws, especially those relating to personal status and work and which permit impunity for gender-based violence. Secondly, states must invest in transparent and efficient justice institutions which respond to the real needs of justice seekers. Third, we must ensure the inclusion of women as decision makers, women parliamentarians, Judges, prosecutors, lawyers and legal aid providers play an important role in shaping the rule of law and justice agenda. Fourth, we must engage strategically with customary and informal justice systems to ensure their alignment with international human rights standards. While these systems can offer advantages, they can also favour entrenched power inequalities and patriarchal values and result in discriminatory and harmful outcomes for women and girls. Fifth, we must address the digital divide and explore alternatives so that poor women and those without access to the internet can still access justice. It is time for all of us to recommit ourselves to gender equality and women's empowerment and to pledge our support to the full, effective and accelerated implementation of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action.